Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am super excited because I'm going to be doing three easy, natural, plant-based DIYs for Valentine's Day or for any time that you want some romantic ideas. So today I'm gonna to be making some orange chocolate covered strawberries, some amazing lavender rose bath bombs, and the most yummy massage oil. With all that being said, let's hop right in. So we're gonna start off with the bath bombs and here are all of the ingredients that you're going to need to make these a reality. Oh, by the way, I got this fun heart mold off Amazon. I will link everything that I can find that I used down below in the info box. So I'm also gonna have the exact measurements in my info box down below, but basically you start off by pouring together all of the dry ingredients, the baking soda, baking powder, Epsom salt, citric acid, the lavender flowers. I went heavy with the lavender flowers because duh, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I am obsessed with lavender. It is amazing for me for sleep support, for skin support. So I went heavy on the lavender and then I also crushed up some dried rose petals into the mix as well. Then I stirred all of the dry ingredients together. Now the next step, this is actually not correct. I poured all of the liquid straight into the batter. And then I added the coconut oil, but what you're actually going to want to do is melt the coconut oil ahead of time, slowly stir it into the dry mixture, and then if you have a spray bottle for the water, your best bet is to actually spray the water in while you're stirring. Um, I should have been more focused on doing a proper DIY than making that silly face <laughs> um, because if you just pour the water straight in, your bath bombs will never harden and they will keep expanding. So as I was stirring everything up, I added in a few drops of eucalyptus oil and then some lavender oil. Then I pressed the mixture down into the heart mold. Now don't worry if your mixture seems dry. This mixture you're seeing me do is definitely wetter than the final product was. When I did it the second time and it worked out best, the mixture was actually pretty dry. So don't worry about that. As the bath bomb dries into the mold, everything will kind of expand and stick together. Now in this one, I added extra roses to the top, but what I would recommend instead is actually adding the roses to the bottom of the mold before you put the Epsom salt in. I think it really helps them stay put better. Then you're gonna wanna let your bath bombs set aside. Honestly, it should only take about a half hour to an hour before they're ready. Now this was actually my second batch and that's why you can see that there are no roses on the top, but the roses were placed on the bottom and I think it looks so cool. And guys, once I got the mixture right by spraying the water in rather than just dumping it in, it really was incredible to see how easy these were to make and also how well they worked. I've taken a few baths with these bath bombs now and I'm honestly hooked and I can't wait to make more. All right, so for our next DIY, we're gonna make some massage oil. And for my carrier oil, I decided to use this avocado oil that I purchased at Walmart. And for my first blend, I decided to use the Stress Away oil from Young Living and also some dry lavender flowers that I used in my bath bomb concoction. So I started off by putting the lavender flowers at the bottom of the bottle. Then I filled up the rest of the bottle with avocado oil. And then of course I liberally added a bunch of stress away oil into the mix. If you've never smelled stress away, people describe it as a vacation in a bottle and dude, it literally is 
so yummy. I've been using this massage oil actually as a body lotion pretty much every day since I made this. So for my second blend, I put a couple of dried rose petals at the bottom of the bottle, filled it up with avocado oil, And then I did a blend of Cypress and Ylang Ylang. This blend is talked about a lot when it comes to like bedroom blends. Supposedly it helps support people's libidos. So, hey. Last up, I decided to make a muscle relaxing blend with some peppermint and some eucalyptus. So this one was even more straightforward. I just filled the bottle with some avocado oil. And then I took my two essential oils and I liberally added them to the bottle. We want this mix to be tingly, people. Obviously, use at your own discretion, but I like my muscle blends very tingly. And there we have it. Three super easy blends that feel amazing on your skin and are also beautiful on your bathroom counter. Can we just talk about that too? <laughs> Um, so next up, I am making orange chocolate covered strawberries and oh my gosh, this stuff was so good. So I started off by putting a glass bowl on top of a pot of hot water and I added in some chocolate and some coconut oil and I just kind of stirred that while the chocolate gradually melted. And once it was completely melted, I took the chocolate off the stove and I added in a few drops of orange Vitality essential oil from Young Living. And pretty straightforward at this point, I dipped in my strawberries. Then I did the same thing with some white chocolate. I kind of messed up and I put the bowl straight in the hot water. You're not really supposed to do that to my knowledge, but it worked out fine. And I transferred the white chocolate coconut oil mixture to a plastic bag, cut off the edge, and then I just kind of marbled some chocolate over the top. Clearly I am not a DIY queen, but at the same time I can tell you people, these strawberries were amazing and I did not get an aftershot because I completely forgot. I just devoured them once the chocolate hardened. It was so good, it's crazy. So um, honestly guys, I'm obsessed with all of these DIYs. I did not expect them to turn out so well. So if you're a little nervous about doing a DIY, I feel like you have this, you can dive in. Um, I'll have all the information in the info box down below and I will see you guys back here soon with a new video. All right, bye guys.